<laughs> I don't know about quick. I just, I just, <laughs> 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 certainly not with me involved. <laughs> what, what's up with the lights? Well, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, AJ, AJ, I'm not rolling. You got it. All right. I picked my snake. Uh, I you get, picked it? I didn't get it. Did you lose a bet? No. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, you know, I didn't let it play at all, but a lot of the words is, uh, you know, what's went on in my career. So, you know, I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been, you know. But, uh, I want to go all the way to the top. You know, this is my first fight in five years. I made a weight. I went 10 rounds with a tough, tough veteran. Um, it was a great win. It was a shutout. But uh, I wanted to get him out of there. I'm a little disappointed at that. But overall, it was a good, uh, good performance and, you know, ready for step number two. Uh, speaking of getting a lot of that, I want to take you uh, through that liver shot. Just kind of like tell me how you set it up in that sixth round. That's when, of course, he went down. Take me through that, please. Um, he was very uh, good defensively. And, uh, you know, especially to the head, he had a head like a rock. But, uh, you know, I was trying to go up and go down fast, you know, trying to catch him, uh, try to block up and get him down. And I, I, I got him that one time. Beautiful liver shot. And, uh, you know, no one wants to get hit there. I don't care how many sit-ups you do. You can't breathe. And I, I ended up catching him with that one. And there was only 10 seconds left of the round. You know, he right. survived that round. And then he was even hurt the next round. But he was protecting that side. You know, I couldn't get that side. Um, he let me hit him all day long to the head. It didn't bother him. Um, you know, it kind of reminds me of somebody. Hello. <laughs> uh, but, uh, tough, tough kid. Make him a lot of respect. It was a, it was a good fight. Um, he wants to go buy me a beer, but I think I'm going to buy him a beer. He, <laughs> wow. he oh, said you hurt him every round. Yeah. He says I hurt him every round, which is great. I mean, I fought the best in the world at 168 pounds in a class I probably never even belonged in. And, uh, and I fought the best. So now it's time to come down to 60. That's, that's where my power is. Uh, that's the guy's my size. This kid was the same size as me. You know, he was just as strong. You know, he was very strong in there. Caught me with a couple shots, especially one in the 10th round. Um, but, you know, this is my weight. You know, this is the weight I think I do a lot of damage and become a world champion in. And, uh, you know, we take it one step at a time. And tonight was step one. I'm, cur I'm curious as to how much videotape that you were able to see because it appeared as if you knew when he was laying his head right in the middle constantly and as a result, eating as many right uppercuts as he was. Was that something that you had seen, that he had a tendency to do that? Because it looked as if you took full advantage, and it kind of seemed, at least to me, that perhaps you were aware of it. Were you, or was it just something that you had noticed in the bout itself? Well, having the experience I have, I, um, you know, especially being with Freddie Roach at Wildcard, uh, you know, I try to set up everybody up with that jab, you know, and I watch where they duck. I was setting him up with that jab, he was ducking down. You know, I knew he was keeping his hands up on the side of his face, so it left the opening in the middle. So I was shooting that right up a cut. Uh, you want to know how much film I watch on? I watch one round. What? That's all I have to watch. That's the only thing Good I watch. Good student. That's yeah. I watch. I, I watch one round of everybody, and that's it. I got enough. I see what they do in one round, and, and that's enough for me, and I let my trainers do the rest. Um, you know, I don't want to watch too much. I, I watch just enough, I think. And, uh, you know, I was, my, my father trained me the whole fight. Uh, you know, I didn't have him here in my corner, which I did miss him. I can't lie to that. Uh, but I, my, my team did a great job. We, they all knew what I had to do. They, they performed very well. I'm very happy with my team. And uh, we were victorious tonight. A, a fight with whom did you watch? With him? Was it Basanti? Oh, uh, no, with what? Chavez Jr. Oh, okay. I watched one, one round of Chavez Jr. And, uh, you know, he... He, he, I mean, he did well with, with Chavez Jr. He did well with Duddy. He did well with every, I mean, right. everybody he fought. This kid doesn't want to go away. He's tough. But I think I dominated him tonight better than those guys did. You know, so. Good point. That, that's only. Uh, Efficient, not flashy. Right, yeah. I think, I think the job was well done tonight. It could have, it could have been better. Yeah, it would have been nice to get a knockout in a perfect world. But you don't get it, so what are you going to do? You know? So, what's your overall report, Craig, for yourself? Um. 85. <laughs> 85. Rating plus. on a curve or being, being, <laughs> being uh, yeah. B plus, not, not bad. Not bad. I mean, you know, the A game would be the knockout, you know, so I got the B plus. Was it a conscious effort on your part to make sure that you had <laughs> with, with a series, <laughs> God bless you, <laughs> with a series of left jabs that you had going in those first couple rounds? That led to, of course, setting up some of the rights, and I noticed right. that that did stagger him, right. especially throughout like the, the first three or four rounds. Was that something that obviously you had in your head? Was it a game plan early on? Because I noticed that he had eaten some of those right hands right away. Once again, he, he seemed to have, you, know, <laughs> you noticed this, that ability that, uh, to be prone to leaving it open. Right. Um... Well, that's the thing. I mean, you you want to, you come in here with a game, but you don't know what the guy has. I mean, you watch a little tape, but it's not the same. When you're in there, it's a little different. So you have to see what he has with the jab. You have to set everything up with the jab. And that's what I learned at uh, Roach's gym. You know, I remember Freddie telling me, you got to set these guys up with a jab. Everything you do is off the jab. So 
you know, I just started out with a jab on him and went for the feint. He went for all my feints. You know, I control him the whole night with the jab. Um, and then I, I get bored sometimes. I want to I wanna get into a fight. You know, I, I got to get hit a little bit. You know, I got to give the crowd something to set the chair about, boo, boo, ah, boo, you know, <laughs> exactly. So, um, but overall, like I said, it was a B-plus performance. I think I did a good job tonight. Uh, I set him up with a jab, definitely. And um, I worked off that. And, and when I'm on my game, like I was on my game tonight, he really couldn't do anything. He was, he was a very, very tough kid. He would, he would a lot to like, he would like to do a lot better with me, I think, a lot more. But he couldn't because I was too sharp to on my game. You know, is it nice to wear at least a belt again? Maybe not the one you truly want. But right. Is it nice to wear at least one? Of course, of course, because it still means I'm something in the game. You know, um, and, and it's just a, it's just another step towards the big one. You know, it, so this should put me top ten in the world at middleweight. You know, and uh, you know, now I just gotta take my time and. Uh, you know, get the, the title fight and, and just work hard and hopefully I, I can bring it home. You know, I can only do my best. So, if my best ain't good enough that night, it ain't good enough. But, I, you know, I'm just going to work very hard and, um, you know, I want to try to bring one home for New England. You said, oh, I'm sorry. How fast do you want to get back in the ring now? Uh, a couple more months. I'd like to fight again uh, end of March, early April. Um, you know, that's in a perfect row. See what happens. Uh, TKO is uh, doing all right. I, I'm very happy with them. They got me a good fight here. Well, he can sign. I'm very happy to be home tonight. And, um, you know, hopefully we can get something at the end of March, early April. Peter, uh, you came out to the song, Here I Go Again on My Own. That's, <laughs> what, that's what Mickey Ward came up here against Gotti. Was that a conscious decision on your part? Um, I've always wanted to come out to that song. I just never knew what time in my career to come out to that song. I think uh, tonight coming back. Uh, was a good time to do that, but they didn't have enough time to play it. You know, I wanted to play it a little bit before I actually went to it. also knocked him down with the left of the body. It was Mickey Whoa. Ward all over. <laughs> Mickey Ward actually called me, called my, my cup man and says, make sure you, uh, Peter Manfredo called me. So I actually, I actually got to talk to him. I might have seen that. I'm very proud. So that was for Mickey Ward, that body shot. <laughs> Definitely. You said you wanted him to hit you. Would you please assess his power for me? Yeah, I had a lot of power. He was very strong. You know, stronger than I thought he'd be. Um, Nobody was as strong as Beaker, though, you know? <laughs> I don't think any human could possibly hit that hard. So, uh, you know, if I could take some of his shots and not go down, I, I think I could take anybody's shots. But uh, you don't want to take a lot of shots. But then again, I'm a freaking thick-headed Italian. And, you know, that, I think that's what makes it great. That's what makes people want to come home and see me. They see an exciting fight. you got to get hit sometime, I guess. Could just being here uh, back in New England in general just kind of capsulize that for me. It must have been an amazing feeling. It I mean, is. What, what was it like? It, it, it was it was like a homecoming, man. You know, this is this is the plan. I wanted to fight away from home to build my fan base because I kind of got embarrassed last year. You know, I, I got beat by a, a better a better fighter, a bigger, stronger fighter, and I was, you know, I ain't gonna lie, to you, I was embarrassed. You know, and uh, I wanted to rebuild my. So I retired at first, but then I came back. I re, I wanted to rebuild my career, and it was at middleweight. I got a couple fights uh, away from home, and I, I wanted to come back at the end of the year. You know what a blast, but it ended up being this year, and uh, you know I think everything went well tonight. And maybe we can fight again next time home or somewhere else, and then come home. Either or, we can you know stop building the fan base back here again and make people believe. And you know tonight was a great night. Well, you had to like the crowd. Oh, I love Huge the crowd. crowd. Mm -hmm. I always have a great crowd, and uh, I love to thank my fans. They, I mean, they're the best. I mean.